Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to split a cell in Microsoft Excel. So there's always a chance you might want to split a cell into two smaller cells. So depending on what kind of data you're importing, it might come across as something like this. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to just start by opening up the data tab. So left click on the data tab one time. And then you want to left click on the text to columns button right above data tools or the data tools section or group. So you want to select whatever column you're having the problem with. So you can see all my stuff's in the B column. And then you want to go make sure you're underneath the data tab and then left click on text to columns right above data tools. So left click on text to columns. So if you want to choose delimited if it's not already selected and then click next. So you can see characters such as commas or tabs separating each field. Or there could also be a fixed width as well. This is definitely going to vary depending on what kind of data you're trying to separate. It might not always come across the same. So you want to go ahead and just make sure that it looks okay how it does in terms of what rows are being shown here. But we're going to really save that for the next step here. So if you left click on next, if we check mark next to semicolon, which is how it's currently separated, I'm going to left click on that. And if instead of a semicolon you had a comma or a space, you just would check mark inside that box instead. Once you're done doing that, you just would left click on next because you can see this line is going to show us where it's all going to separate. And then left click on next. Now once you have done that, you want to go ahead and probably just most of the stuff default here. And then left click on next again. And then left click on finish. And you can see it has separated all three out. So definitely a cool little trick to know about. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.